Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your dude, your rebel, your guy that steps to the next level, King of Sergeant, K E E N E N, aka Level 92, saying what's up. Haha, <laughs> I did a little RBD right there. And well, welcome everybody to another Key Clip episode. But this here is Key Clip 359 for Season 7, Episode 9. And yes, we got one more to hit 360. And I promise you guys, it's going to be a good one for real. <laughs> real. So, like I said, we're going to try to do another quick video because I have a whole lot of stuff to kind of get ready for ourselves. So. Yeah, bear with me. So, uh, for the past few uh, videos, uh, 55, we basically looked at the uh, Sonic uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie, which, again, I still thought was pretty great in my case. Um, for 356, we looked at both the live action and the animated uh, 101 Dimensions on the Tiger Electronic games. For 357, we looked at Jesus Christ, the action figure, which I will keep forever. <laughs> And then my last video we did uh, for 358, we was at um, uh, Soundwave X Comic Expo, a new con that I, did not, I heard about a little bit, uh, and basically interviewed my boy uh, DJ Killzone Jones. So guys, go check him out. He's one of my local uh, dudes right here. <clears throat> so for here today, um, we're going to do another double feature, and this is going to be a quick one. We actually, I've done a lot on games. I've done, I've probably done some on movies. And movies and games, whatever the case is. But uh, we're going to switch it up a notch, and we're going to go with peripherals. So, for the PlayStation side, we have the Alps Interactive Controller and the Interact Barracuda Controller. More ways to play in one, and yes, these are some weird-looking controllers, but believe me, I got others that's even weirder. Um, one, yeah, these are PlayStation controllers, of course. Um... I think the last time I ever did something like this, as far as peripherals, um, I say never. Yeah, this will be the first one. So, we're going to take a look at this one first. Now, this one right here, honestly, when you look at this, what comes to mind? Like, seriously, come on. You got you to gotta give me something. Hopefully, some of y'all said Batarang, or at least some very, very well sharp boomerang. This thing is like a very long handle, so I think I have a... No, no. I know. Oh, well. <laughs> Thought I had a control out here. Uh, I think somewhere. Oh, don't know. Okay. Anyway, so you take a look at this controller. Like, it looks nice. I mean, it's actually just firm fitting. You got your regular controls. Uh, the fact that the D-pad is like a whole, like, warped, indented padding or something. It's kind of... feels good. <laughs> I don't know. That's why they never came up with this in the first place. And then you got your regular start and select, and then you get these like upside down teardroppy con uh, configuration buttons. Um, I think it's all. I think it's just the design on this. It's a little bit complicated, especially with the back buttons. Like mostly with the other, I think you can put like two fingers or just do one. Um, I mean, I had honestly I had no problem with this. You know, I can probably play a few games with this you know no analog of course so basically this is that early playstation and then analog came in like a little bit later so to speak um but yeah this is this is one of them this is one the alps interactive controller one and now for number two which i have some really mixed feelings on so kind of the same thing it's very flat yeah there's no ends like all the back buttons on here so, basically, you had to be playing it like that. It's kind of, I, I don't know. It's just, yeah. Because it's, it's kind of, it's basically kind of like a turbo controller. Because, of course, it has, like, the uh, the switches on the top. He has a slow, the mode. I think, uh, I think, like, depending on the certain game, you have to put on a certain number. And then the auto, which is basically, like, your turbo button. And, of course, your regular analog. And sorry about this one. It's chipped. Or it came off, but it was off when I bought it. But why not? This is a controller. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm just really weird on the back part. Like, playing like this can make sense. Like, Super Nintendo did it, or you know, playing like on a uh, uh, like an advantage pad, like an advantage pad. You know, all the buttons right there. But I, uh, yeah, it was okay. Uh, I do not know what the bottom part supposed to be. It's just something. It was like a devil ray. <laughs> Um, like I said, really nice coloring, nice, I guess it is nice handling a little bit, but I mean, compared to this one, 
yeah, your handling is like just perfect. Like bam, bam, bam. This one, like I said, this one in hand is more weird on the end parts and of course the back parts. But I mean, it looks it looks somewhat decent. <laughs> Like I said, there's a Barracuda, and I think an Interact. I think I, I know I have some more uh, Interact products, but, you know, just kind of just looking at it like, hey, you know, this is something out of nowhere. You know, every, when it comes to, like, the third-party controls, every, every one of them is going to be different. You know, either it's a steering wheel or it's a gamepad or an accessory. Like, you know, you got Mad Cats, but then you got other stuff like that and Pelican. Uh, but, yeah, these two. Hey, I just bought these at a go well a while back, so um, I guess these are some of these I haven't really used them yet because I use the regular controllers. But uh, whenever we do get to it, you know, I'll see how well these actually work. Yeah, so like I said, this is gonna be just it was just a quick video I wanted to try to do before I uh, get ready to do when I gotta do it later. <laughs> so there you go for another quick view for um, 359 season seven. Hope you guys like this video as much as I did. Uh, like always, like, comment, subscribe to the, subscribe to the channel. Find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash do love uh, Twitter and Instagram, do love and Also on TikTok and Snapchat and TikTok, do love and Until next time, stay tuned for the big 360. I'll see you when we see y'all. Peace. And always, stay awesome.